After a pretty slow start, the Xbox One is now getting hundreds of indie titles, so there's quite a lot to sort of get your mind around. So we've uh, sat down, we've gone through them all, and we've picked out the six titles that we are most excited about coming to Xbox One in the next couple of years. And the first one is this fantastic looking RPG, uh, Hyperlight Drifter, which is uh, kind of taking on elements of Diablo and sort of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past to create a much faster paced uh, action RPG with a sort of top-down view, uh, and it's absolutely stunning looking. Yeah, Hyperlight Drifter was uh, basically first started on Kickstarter. It was wildly successful, and since then it's only continued to look better and better. You know, it's got such a unique pixel art graphic style. It's got wonderful music, and as you can see, the combat just looks really fast and frantic, almost looking more like a twin-stick shooter in many regards Absolutely. than a traditional RPG. It's a nice mix of a kind of melee sword combat and uh, actually guns and grenades in this game. It's a, a really interesting mix, mixture of kind of old combat with fairly modern ideas. And, and that thing of kind of fantasy and technology all merging together in this game, it's kind of difficult to place what the time period is supposed to be in this particular, uh, in this particular world. Yeah, it looks frantic as well. I, from my understanding, it's going to be pretty tough. So when you die, there's going to be some sort of... Uh, sort of horrible restriction on you know respawning and weapons etc mm. so seeing all of these enemies rush at you it just looks horribly stressful but that's sort of what you want from those uh, sort of dungeon crawling experiences so absolutely. super game for this one I think this is my personal um, favorite absolutely another big one Cuphead such a crazy looking game action pl platformer amazing bosses a kind of 1930s cartoon style kind of inspired a little bit by Disney and some other uh, sort of propaganda of that time also had a lot of this kind of animated look. Um, just really cool grainy effects. It's just insane that they've managed to pull this off and actually turn this into a video game. Really, really exciting. Yeah, and something else we're really excited about, and I'm a little bit surprised to say it, to be honest, is uh, There Came an Echo, a connect focused uh, sci-fi um, RTS. And it looks really cool, you know, it's um, looking a little bit like XCOM inspired with a little bit of shadow runs running through its veins, which mm. is always cool to see. And uh, interesting, it's got Will Wheaton of Star Trek fame signed up for voice acting, which I'm very yeah. happy about as well. So really excited to see more of this one. Definitely. I think the key here is uh, with the Kinect control, what we're talking about there is voice commands. Yes. And it's not just kind of the rote. Xbox on type stuff. We're talking about actually quite conversational voice commands. Um, you can tell your squad, for instance, to use common sense, guys, and it will be preset for them to kind of do act in a fairly natural way, like, oh, an enemy's appeared. I should probably shoot that enemy <laughs> since they've just stepped into the room. Because otherwise, it will wait for you to tell them so. But you can also say, oh, head to Alpha 1 on my mark, and it will wait for you to say mark for before they act, act on that. So it's a really smart idea, it's really smart AI, and great voice control, which is fascinating to see. Uh, yeah, and then we've got Pure Pool, um, sort of not as maybe overtly excite as exciting as some of the other titles on this list, but basically they're just looking to do a really smart, intelligent pool game that's sort of just all about the simulation. And we don't see enough sports games like that anymore, and I think if you're a fan of pool but you're not a fan of you know, going out to a pub and having to listen to the noise of that, you can just stick a headset on grab a queue and play some pool with your friends. Yeah, custom leagues, and as I say, like, it, it might not be like the most spectacular indie game coming out, but if we're being honest, it's probably one we're going to spend as much time playing as anything else. And speaking of spending time, I cannot wait to spend time with Inside Playdead's brand new game. They're the guys behind Limbo. Uh, this is almost certainly going to be a very, very depressing, very atmospheric um, sort of environmental puzzler. Uh, and putting little boys in peril seems to be play dead's uh, go-to thing now but i'm okay with that because this looks awesome yeah there's a really wonderful mix of things going on here i'm sort of seeing some elements almost like pixarish kind of elements of sort of pretending to be something you're not in the world and like trying to react to different things that are going on some of the sound effects in this trailer as well actually if you get to watch it without us talking over it are <laughs> uh, absolutely fantastic some really great use of sound for this game yeah i think it's this is going to be one you want to play with headphones on your own and yeah just no involve yourself in it. I think one you want to want to play with someone sitting next to you so you can both laugh out loud at it is roundabout one of the most insane games we've seen coming to Idea Xbox. I don't even understand what's happening but I just know that I love it. Yeah I mean it's got some great video acting uh, when I say great I mean great in that it's terrible yep. um, d but deliberately so they, they put out a casting call to the local area basically just had fans come in record some footage playing these all these weird and wonderful characters but you, you play this limo driver and the limo spins of course why wouldn't it just spin around um, and they give you missions like take us here uh, 
can you do this for me? Can you jump up this building for me? Um, but yeah, the, the, the limo itself just keeps spinning constantly. So it's a really interesting kind of puzzle game where you're kind of collecting stuff, you find little secrets, uh, but you also got to try and sort of keep your limo going and, uh, and not destroy it as it keeps hitting things. Yeah, this looks uh, ridiculously strange. I I don't know if I'm okay with it, but I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. Like, uh, it just looks really fun, and it's one of those games that without Idea Xbox, you know, we wouldn't be getting at all. Uh, and it's great to see developers having some fun with with um, you know genre in the industry. So I'm excited to see more. I've always loved FMV games as well, so I'm I'm okay with the schlocky acting. <laughs> I think it's kind of got that nice mix of. Uh I think uh, there's a sort of spinning stick games which we've seen before, um, but also I'm sort of getting a bit of a Tony Hawk feel from this, kind of the mm. multiplayer, score chasing, yeah. pulling off little tricks, um, kind of interacting with the world in interesting ways. Um, it's not quite open world, but it's got lots of very big areas you can investigate and explore if you want to. So that's quite a nice little feature that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a puzzle game like this. So that's just a selection of amazing games. These are our six favorites coming to either Xbox. Really stunning stuff. Uh, and look out for more very, very soon.